Let's go to the kitchen. Let's do it. We are talking El Caparro. I, I feel like it sounds I'm doing so better. classy every yeah, time you it say really it. It really does. And you guys, this is this is a twist that I did not expect. I'm gonna come right between you, but in the best way possible. French toast. French toast. French toast. Yeah. Is this something you serve every day? Yes. You serve often? We do have um, breakfast options. Okay. So um, omelets, French toast. Um, and, and many more. Yeah. And many more. Why do that? That's pretty unique for a Mexican restaurant. Um, well, we decided to spice spice it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we do have um, authentic food, not just based on globally Mexican food, okay. but just from several regions. Sure. Authentic, um, also American. Okay. I um, love it. Yeah. I love the idea, and we're getting started right now. Chef's ready to go. Yeah. He's, he's, he's ready. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to cook. Will you narrate for us and let us know? Because I feel like it kind of all starts with the bread, perhaps. Yes. Um, he makes it from scratch. Go ahead, Chef. Um, pound cake, and he oh, oven we're bakes having it. You know, you know why we're having troubles over here? This is what you call a fancy stove. It's an induction. Yeah. Here, so, we'll Mr. Cody Adams, here. will you get me maybe a pan that works? Because sometimes you just, just don't want to go. If I'm so being, being totally here. honest, I yeah. never know which one is working or not. Well, sometimes it's a little tricky. Here you go, Chef. So that light should go steady here in just a second. There we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So we'll heat that up. and All right. You go ahead and hear that. You know, live, live TV friends, you just never know what you're going to get. But, yeah, I feel like it all starts with a nice, good, hearty piece of bread yes. when it comes to good French toast. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really nice recipe. Very tasty. He he cooks really good, so oh, I truly really recommend it. <laughs> you, you said you're using pound cake, though, right? Yes. For your French toast? Mm -hmm. This is different. Yeah. That is a genius I idea. I think I realized that was pound cake. Wow. I've used, like, the big Texas toast before, sure. mm -hmm. yeah, but I've never totally done the, the pound now. cake. Is this something unique, or is this something like, no, 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 this is a thing. Mm, People do this. Um, no, no, no. It's quite unique. Oh. Yeah. See, we just don't know about it. Hmm. I, listen, I am changing my whole game plan now. Yeah, on the French toast. that's that fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, as this gets ready, I'm ready to go. Talk to mm -hmm. us about uh, the restaurant in general. What's the vibe like? The experience. Um, okay, you it, like I mentioned earlier, it's it's quite a twist. Um, modern, Western, Mexican, uh -huh. American, just a bit of everything. I bet people mm -hmm. love it because it's something different. Yeah. Yeah. Was that nerve wracking? I mean, when you enter enter any new restaurant mm -hmm. field, it's hard, obviously. But when yeah. you're coming at it, going, "Hey, we're doing Mexican food, but it's mm -hmm. totally different than what you're expecting." Were you guys scared a little bit? Obviously, yes, yeah. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. We were very scared, but no, um, we've had um, good response. Yeah, it's from work our pretty clients. Well. So um, it's a good thing that. Um, they do stop by, check out the food, enjoy the food, love the food, and come back. Right. Now, is this a basic French toast mixture, or is this a little secret sauce? I, it's a bit of a secret, hey, yeah. A little secret. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, we can't really say. A bit of a secret, and obviously we'll let this kind of mm -hmm. do its thing. Um, the traditional, the powdered sugar, the strawberries. Mm -hmm. Is this like a, is this served any time, or is this more of a brunch you can only no, get between any time. hours? Any time. Any time. Yeah. I love that, too, because yeah. how many times have you gone to a Mexican restaurant and your kid's like, I don't even want the cheese quesadilla in your right. like, okay, come on. Do you know what happened the other day? I, I went somewhere for lunch, and I said it was supposed to end at 3. And I looked at the time. I'm like, oh, we can still order. It was 2.57. And I asked the guy, I said, are you guys still doing lunch or, you, or brunch? Or are you done? He's like, you have three minutes. <laughs> you have three lunch in three minutes. I'm like, ah, I got to hurry. I got to hurry. So I like that, that you can pretty much get it any time. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cody's getting some I forks. I feel like we might as well. Are you all right? Not really. It'll okay. be fine. Okay. All right. We'll do wow, a little taste that testing a here. Lot. All right, look at the syrup. This syrup looks delicious. plays key. All right, let's talk locations too. Where can we come find you guys? Um, we are in the northwest part of Indy. Okay. And we are located in 3970 Georgetown Road. Oh. Mm. How long have you guys been open now? Um, since July. Okay. So a few months now. And things are going well? Yeah, how's yes, it been going very so far? Well. Very good. Mm, that's good. The pound cake is a genius idea. I don't know why I never thought of mm. doing that. That's so good. We're gross. just going to taste. <laughs> I know. Mm, that's so yummy. So coming up in a little bit with you guys, we're going to do a steak dish as well, right? Yes. yes. Is, is this I, your famous steak dinner? Yes. With okay. um, a baked potato and a really, really nice salad. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love it. Really quickly, anything else on the menu that would surprise us that we may not 
thing to too many to name. Either. Oh, too, too many, many to name. name. Yes. That means you just have to go. You gotta go check out the menu yourself. Yeah. That's right. You gotta go. Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank